Battlefield queues are sometimes taking both full time slots and still not getting all 10 attempts in. Fairly frustrating to sit in a queue that long. What's up guys, this is Soulbash, and we're gonna do a very first, this is a voice your opinion episode. Basically what we're gonna do is I'm going to go through my characters and collect stuff, and we're gonna talk about some serious stuff that I've asked questions about. Now I asked a question to a community, a small portion, yet got answers from probably about five different servers so far, and we'll continue doing this. But what we're going to do is um, I did ask some of the guys some questions and these are the responses. What I did ask was, what do you think needs to be changed or fixed in game? And here are some of the responses from these guys. Other than that first one that we started with, there is a pet glitch still in PvP League. It isn't fixed. When you go to swap pets, they switch, but stay frozen at home, and you can't use their skills. Essentially, you have to have a pet team still alive, wait out the pet switch cooldown, switch out to unfreeze it, or if you have no other living pet team, you're just fucked. Okay, now that can see how that'd be really annoying. Um, and that's been around for quite a while, so I don't see why they have not got around to that. Hopefully they do get that very, very soon. I can see the frustration from you there. All right. Uh, let's actually continue doing something on screen or I'll go ahead and collect some of this stuff. I have a few more to read. Let's see. Another one is the chat function. We have quite a few complaints with chat. So far, what we have is extending the chat is very very essential especially for guild uh, it's very frustrating not being able to communicate with your guild having to outsource to an external app just to communicate get together and you know be able to talk you know give us a little bit more freedom in the guild system to be able to communicate with our guys also maybe some type of email system maybe so where we can send messages out to individual guild members or possibly the entire guild uh, members uh, kind of like a mailbox system uh, that would be really nice and useful uh, another thing with chat I've noticed lately in recent updates is guys if I log on a character and then log off for some long period of time then log back in I'm basically getting all the spam chat from world chat that day um, I can see where that could cause some lag uh, it's very annoying as well uh, just something that could be addressed, you know, it's it's Kind of frustrating having to log on and read all that stuff going through Another player says calls to play Taichi Pen at any competitive level are probably high and equate essentially to price gouging The current business model creates crops of elite high spenders who see zero returns of investment and leave in mass and whose gap is filled by ill-informed or stupid new investors will eventually face the same fate. Ultimately, this model is unsustainable. Casual players see their efforts going nowhere, while hardcore players see their loyalty unrewarded. Instead of expanding population of players, there will be a crash. Even high spenders won't want to wallow in their wealth alone and will leave when no one is around to prop up their egos. People should not have to rely on a top-up guy or other questionable means in order to chase slight discounts merely to maintain the status quo. It should be able to run 10 accounts if I want to instead of one or two. This guy has got some serious beef. Now this person, I personally talk to quite a bit. I know who they are. They are named, not going to be named, but I mean, this is a fairly big spender. I'm positive this guy has not one, but two VIP 10 accounts. So guys, I would take heed and listen to what some of these people are saying. Um, some other issues that we've been running across would be uh, in Battle Royale, the matchmaking. It is terrible there's no point of hardly even going in there and hoping you win especially in the evening time you're facing level 
from 95s to 100s and there's level 45s and 50s in there there's no way possible to get this has to be looked at it, it the system needs to be tiered okay there needs to be a tier system where it goes by certain levels because at a certain level if you can't obtain what someone else has they obviously spent too much i mean of course but this needs to be addressed especially on the higher end and moderate this a little bit heavier uh, also something i ran into personally was the soul stone chest that you get from doing achievements now it says on them you are possibly able to get more captain sam or dingus or etc okay well two of the chests that i've pulled out of there have been none of them not even close i was getting spirit matings from a soul stone chest that is ridiculous okay uh we've had many many people here lately complaining about the lag that has been happening in all types of pvp since the update that did came out um also want to talk about another thing in battle oil which is the mounts um i know mounts did get dropped down to level 40 45 i believe it's 45 uh correct me if i'm wrong there in the comments below but uh one thing that mainly needs to be addressed fireborn rain you know even the normal attack if you can't see that person on the screen i do not believe you should be able to be attacked by that person uh, that's getting pretty old in itself where you don't even get on the screen and you're already dead uh, Seeing that happen quite a lot here lately uh, Another thing in battle royale sometimes silence is not working on people. It's just basically like they're immune to it um, I know there are certain abilities that can make you immune to stuff like that, but you know, doing it every time um, I, I haven't figured it out um, another thing is a visual glitch when you uh, win kings in kings pvp where it looks like someone is going through the side of the bridge into the middle so it's glitching out making it like somebody's running and they're not actually running um, my guess there that person is lagging uh, that was a concern from another person from the community um, there's a team bug in battlefield where it looks like two people are dead and only one person is in the match but the match hasn't even started yet uh, we're still getting glitches in there from that um, also another concern from a player fix the wording on the damage reduction items to differentiate the damage reduction and the armor reduction um, people are saying the true caps somewhere around 70% or 80% they don't know uh, they can't figure it out uh, so I guess it needs to be clarified more for them. It looks like that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, we had a whole page of stuff and quite a few others that we probably didn't even get to this time. Uh, but if you have any concerns, um, we'll start doing this weekly. So if you'd like to have your opinion voiced on this series here, please leave a comment below about what you think needs to happen. Or just if you have a rant, you have anything, if you just want to tell somebody they're stupid, no, really don't do that. But I mean, if you have something very constructive and critical that you know that you think really needs to be addressed in game, please leave a comment below and we'll discuss this in the next episode of Voice Your Opinion. Thanks guys for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.